<laughs> turning over. That's it. There's the fish. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Nice light line. That's what's required. Let's fish it day. Whee! <laughs> That's a great start. They fight so hard these rainbows, they really do. Great fun on light gear. Go on little fella, let's have a look at you. You're going back. Come on. Come on, let's have you. Yes. That's good, isn't it? Good start. Get it on, Matt. Oh, a beautiful fish that is. Look at that. Colours. Get these hands wet. That's daddy inside at mouth. Come on. Flies out. <laughs> what a stunning fish that is. Look at that. Colours. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> right, let's get you back, fella. There he goes. Off to fight another day. <laughs> It's a good start, isn't it? Get some more of them, it'll be a good day. Brilliant. Let's fish it day. Not been here long. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Still had some life in him, didn't he? <laughs> Shut it down. Flies out. Nice fish. And he took a liking to form daddy. Another lovely fish. Yeah. A few of them, that'll be a good day. Where you go. So the setup. It's uh, Fenwick Nighthawk reel. They're basically just an arbor foot line. They don't have to be fancy. Um, the the fly line, it's a, a double taper seven. So it's not an heavy line. Floating. I've got a May leader is five pound fluorocarbon and the fly it's a uh, a foam daddy long legs probably about a size about a size 12 something like that so that's that's the setup that i'm using and it's uh it's accounted for a few fish on it so far and say I'm not having to cast a long way. I've got wind off my right shoulder, which is making casting a bit difficult, but it's not too bad. But we've got a nice ripple on water. So it's sort of hiding the the floor of carbon leader a little bit. If it were flat calm they'd, they'd probably they'd probably have a look at it, but they'd see it lime maybe. So it's sitting on top of water but uh, yeah it's working isn't it <laughs> gotta stick with it like I say you can see there's, there's not that much topping you know there's no really topping there's one or two coming up now and again but they're not they're not coming up a lot but you put a big bushy fly on like that and it, it grabs their attention as soon as it's water, a lot of takes I've had have been pretty much 
with him first sort of 10 to 15 seconds there's a fish there try and cover it there oh <laughs> nearly <laughs> might come back oh it's still there he's still left it fly See, with dry fly, you can aim at, uh, you know, rising fish. If you see a fish rise, cover it. That will one up. <laughs> but yeah, it's great fun. I say you, you can get cast intuition if you're not right good at it, but to be fair, places like this, you can catch them here. You don't really need to cast a long way. But the casting, it's it's all about timing. It was my, my late uncle that uh, showed me how to do it on a big reservoir, so I cut my teeth on a difficult water, so this is quite easy. You know, on a big reservoir, you, you're casting out as far as you can get it most at time. Ron here, it's like, what's that? 20 yards, if that. So yeah, if you've got a, a lake that's local to you, you send a cheap fly set up and go give it a try, it's great fun. <laughs> Go on. Tight lines. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. That form daddy's doing the business. Certainly working. There it is. Fella, and you come. Yeah. <laughs> Get him down. Come on, come on. Let's get that daddy out. Get you on your way. There we go. Nice fish. That one just went airborne. <laughs> I don't think it's a particularly big one, but it's a scrapper. Straight to the net. Yeah. It's gonna go mad now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Flies out again. That's good. Form Daddy doing the business. It's a silvery fish. Lovely. <laughs> That's pike spawning activity. That's good to see. Another nice fish. You know it's a good day when you're starting to lose count. <laughs> That's the bonny one, is that? It's one of them right spotty ones. I say some of them are a bit, a bit silvery. He's a belter, him. Come on, let's have you. Not net. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. 
is in. Oh, that's a stunner, is that one? It's an absolute stunner. Flies out. Like that thing. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> They're not like pike, they don't give you warning. Stunning fish that, look at markings on that thing. Beautiful. Let's get you back. And so they're coming up for it. I don't know if you can see me fly there. But there's not that much topping, but I'm gonna to stick with it because it's it's making them come up. It's quite a big bushy fly, it's daddy. And it's really buoyant as well, so... I'll stick with it for now. Might have a little switcheroo later on. But if it's picking up the odd fish then... Oh yeah, there. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's not ready yet, isn't that? Look at that rod. He's not ready yet. Let him fight himself out. Come on. They won't go mad on Matt. Let's have you. Come on. Get on mine. Yes. Nice fish is that. <laughs> he won't go mad. Still got some fight in him, hasn't it? My neck. Come on, let's have you. Let's have a look at you. It's a lovely fish, is that? Lovely fish. It's got some power. Stay still. Nice in scissors. Look at that for a trout. <laughs> All of a similar size, really. Nice fish, though. Come on. Let's have you. Yes. a golden one. The flies come out. Look at that fish. Stunner. Well lad. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Having a good day really. It's alright is this. There's not much topping but they're coming up for it, so we'll keep going. In. <laughs> Oi. Some clink hammer this time, change flies. Come from daddy to clink hammer. And uh, he's taking the bait. <laughs> Whoa. so much fun of these single hand rod you know look at that <laughs> oh yuck it's back on rail oh. Oh. go on a great fight whoa him there shaking his head. There he is. Come on. 
<laughs> yeah, nice fish. Another nice fish. No. <laughs> A nice fish that. Go on, settle down. That fly out your chop. There you go. Lovely fish that is in the sun. Look at that. Lovely fish. It's a thrasher. <laughs> Get your head down. Better. That's a nice fish that. Probably the best one yet, I'd say. Not by much, but good fish. It's bending rod. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's get that hook out of here. That's it. What a fish that is. Look at that. Another one on the daddy. It's just starting to top now. There's a few fish coming up to the surface. He's gonna go ballistic in there, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, little fella. Let's have a look at you. That's it. That's getting battered, isn't it? That thing. <laughs> there you go, look. Nice rainbow. You go. There it goes. Some right spot today, it's brilliant. Do us a favour while you're watching. If you're if you're enjoying this rod bending fun, do us a favour and hit that subscribe button. This trout certainly has. He's subscribed to me fly. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> So it's great fun while rivers are out. You know, you can fish for trout on rivers, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, you know. Try a little lake for trout as well on fly. And there you go. <laughs> Another silvery one. Alright, already. How silvery that one is, how different it is to that other. Look at that. Nowhere near as many spots on it. I'll put him back, we'll sort that fly out in a minute. There you go, little fella. Off you go. Yeah, do us a favour and hit that subscribe button and say it's much appreciated. Right guys, I'll uh, I'll just quickly go through a few little bits and bobs of, of gear that I'm using because uh, it's sort of died of, of a death now, there's, there's no talking at all, I've tried a few different flies and it's it's probably, it'll be evening rise later on so I think what I'll do is I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm using so there's there's the reel so it's a Fenwick Nighthawk and it's loaded with um, a double taper 7 floating line and I've been fishing a leader about about 10 foot long 5 pound fluorocarbon 
so that's that's the reel and the line <coughs> the rod it's a, a 10 foot 8 way true fly by Witchwood really nice rod so that's the rod 10 foot long it's got a nice action to it it's light you can fish with it all day no problem and it'll handle some decent fish as well <laughs> so that that's the rod the reel the line that's the setup for that and uh, I'll show you some of flies I've been using so that foam daddy there <clears throat> that's a that's a been a good fly today but I've tried the the black parachutes as well I've had a couple of fish on them so they're they're quite a good fly so there's a few in there some suspender buzzers stuff like that. I've got a load more stuff in here but uh, <coughs> And uh, I caught on that uh, that little black epoxy buzzer there, that one. But I've caught on here before with like foam head suspender buzzers as well. And you could probably fish them in a team. So that's that lot there. They're basically the flies that I've been using today. So. There's enough of a selection there for a day's fishing. So, I think I'll probably wrap this one up now. It's been a pretty good day, I've had a fair few fish. Had my string pulled, had a bit of fun. Sun's shining, it's a nice day. I got all togged up. Because the forecast for it to be quite cool. But, it's turned out nice, it's been alright. So I've seen one or two pike in margin as well so yeah all in all it's been a pretty good day really enjoyed it so if there's one near you get you sent a cheap little outfit give it a try so it's pretty good fun really is when you get them on top as well you know get them on top you you see them come up and grab all that fly and you're in you know it's it's great fun really is so Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so because it really helps the channel to grow. So, and hit that like button as well. So, until next time, tight lines.